Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving into something super cool for all you rooted and roid users out there. We're going to learn how to install the One UI Home 35 Majisk module on your device, bringing that sleek One UI experience to your Nong Samsung phone. Before we jump into the installation, let's quickly go over what you'll need. First off, it's crucial that your device is not running on a One UI. This module is designed for Nong Samsung devices to get One UI home. So if you're already on it, you don't need this. Secondly, your device needs to be running Android 15 or higher. Next, you'll need to have either Magisk or Kernel Su installed on your device. And finally, you must have the One UI Core Magisk module installed first. You can find link in the description below, so no worries there. All right, let's get to the good stuff, the installation. Follow these steps carefully to ensure a smooth process. The very first thing you need to do is to remove any other One UI Home. The JISC module with a different name that you might have previously installed. If you've already got a module with the exact same name, you don't need to remove it. But if it's different, uninstall it. After removing any conflicting modules, perform a quick reboot of your device. This ensures a clean slate before proceeding. Once your device is back up, we're ready for the core components. First, you must install the One UI Core Magisk module. I've provided the link for this in the description. Go ahead and download it and install it through your Magisk app or Kernel Su app. Now, if you want to activate the Recents provider, which gives you that seamless Recent Apps experience, make sure to read the optional section on the module's download page. It's a quick extra step for enhanced functionality. After installing the One UI Core module, it's time to install the star of the show, this module. The One UI Home 35. Install it via your Magisk app, Kernel Su app, or even through recovery if you're using Magisk. A quick but important note for Kernel Su users, after installing the module, you'll need to disable unmount modules by default in your Kernel Su app settings. This is crucial for the module to function correctly. And finally, once everything is installed and configured, perform one last reboot of your device. This will apply all the changes and bring the One UI Home 35 experience to life. And there you have it. Your rooted Android device should now be rocking the One UI Home 35 experience. It's a fantastic way to customize your phone and get a taste of Samsung's refined interface. If this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends who might find it useful, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Android customization content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.